Hello and welcome to training on translating in the cloud using Translation Workspace by GeoWorks.com. Translation Workspace is an example of a computer-aided translation tool or CAT tool. In this training, I'll explain what a CAT tool is and then show you how to conduct a translation project using Translation Workspace. CAT tools help translators reduce costs, improve translation quality and consistency, and deliver projects faster by enabling reuse and reference of your past translations. Translation memories, or TMs, store previously translated chunks of text called segments, so they are available for reuse or reference when similar material needs to be translated later and glossaries store translated terms so you can improve your terminology accuracy and consistency and acts much like a dictionary. Previously translated segments are stored in a TM as the translator works and then are presented during translation as what we call matches. A match rate indicates how similar your source segment is to one that has been translated before. A 100% match indicates that the exact same segment has previously been translated and already exists in your TM. A fuzzy or partial match means that part of the segment has been translated before. For example, you may have already translated the segment, the house is red. If you then need to also translate the segment, the house is blue, you would be presented with something around a 75% match. At this point, you would only need to replace the translation for red with the translation for blue to be done with the translation. A zero or no match means that no similar segments exist in your TM. The idea behind a CAT tool is that you gradually build up the translated content stored in your TM so that each subsequent translation project can benefit from your past projects. This slide covers a key vocabulary for translation workspace concepts. With each subscription, you have access to a tenancy, which is your own private work area. Each tenancy contains users, TMs, or translation memories, which contain translated segments, glossaries, which contain translated terms, and review packages, which are used to collect feedback on translated content. When a translator saves work, all data is updated in real time, so we refer to these TMs, glossaries, and review packages as live assets. These live assets can be organized in work groups, which act like folders. Other subscribers also have their own tenancies. If you wish to securely share assets with those other subscribers, you can do so using a process called asset aliasing. This essentially creates a link to your asset so all users can work on the same, most up-to-date data at the same time. You can also revoke access to aliased assets at any time so you maintain complete control over your asset at all times. There are many roles involved in a successful translation project. The asset manager is responsible for creating and maintaining TMs, glossaries, and review packages, and for creating users and assigning them with permissions to these live assets. The project support engineer is responsible for converting source files into a translatable file format, and then once the translation is completed, to convert it back to the original file format. The translator connects a translatable file to TMs and glossaries to conduct translation, editing, and proofing tasks, then the reviewer uses those same live assets to comment on translations and provide feedback. Both the asset management and review tasks can be done inside the Translation Workspace web user interface at translate.translationworkspace.com. The project support engineer and translator tasks are done using installable clients called the Translation Workspace tools, the Microsoft Word plugin, and the XLIF editor.